Hey lovely people, chocolate is one of my very favourite ingredients to cook with. So I want to give you five of my brilliantest and most delicious recipes. You're going to love it. You have to try my simple chocolate mousse. It's so delicious, very, very simple, dense, silky and just gorgeous. You're going to love it. Put about an inch or so of water in a pan. I've got it on a medium heat and I want to melt 200 grams of chocolate. I'm going to put a tiny pinch of salt. Then I need a knob of butter, 300 mils, double cream, a teaspoon, vanilla paste, sugar, two heaped tablespoons, just whisk it, literally 25 seconds. Two lovely free range large eggs. Put the yolk in with the cream. Whisk up this egg white here. Put our chocolate into our beautiful cream. Now we go into spatula. Slowly fold these egg whites in. There you go. This goes in the fridge, all done. And just for a little edge, just put some cocoa on top. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to make the most delicious cookies with my mate Alfie Days. We did Devil's Double Chocolate Malted Cookies. 200 grams of good quality chocolate on a very low heat. 50 grams butter. Salt. One tin of condensed milk. Two heaped tablespoons of almonds. Two heaped teaspoons of malted drink aka Horlicks. Mix that up, sift in 200 grams of self-raising flour. Put that in the fridge for about 20 minutes. 100 grams of lovely Maltesers. Give it a smash. Go for it. 50 grams of white chocolate. And then we just mix it up. Let's quarter it. Make six balls out of each, roughly. Squish them just a little bit. This is what they look like, guys, after 12 minutes in the oven. They're crispy on the outside. They're gooey in the middle. They're delicious. Like, this, this will solve... Relationships. Well, this will solve world <laughs> issues. <laughs> Vegans don't need to miss out on gorgeous chocolate pots. No, this recipe is amazing. So fine and delicate, and it has a secret ingredient. Tofu. Really good quality dark chocolate. 200 grams. Over some water. Now, this will slowly melt tofu. Two packs. So there's 700 grams of tofu in that clean tea towel. Get rid of the residual excess moisture. Go into a food processor, the zest of one lime, one tablespoon of dark rum, two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste, a little pinch of salt, 160 grams of maple syrup, chilli, a good pinch. I'm going to take my chocolate off the heat now, let this cool down. I'm going to whiz this up for about two minutes to get super silky smooth, then I'll start adding the chocolate. We can have real fun with this. Shave a bit of extra chocolate on the top. Pistachios. This would be brilliant for a romantic interlude, yes. But they're also vegan friendly. I've made a delicious chocolate eggnog. Absolutely gorgeous, hot or cold. I have here 600 mils of whole milk. Put a couple of crushed um, cardamom seeds in there. One stick of cinnamon. Two cloves in there. You can use a vanilla pod like this. Three, four minutes of simmering. And then we're just going to leave it just to sort of melt this chocolate. Four egg whites, four egg yolks. Put a pinch of salt in the egg whites. Uh, the yolks here add three tablespoons of honey. Just about a quarter of a nutmeg and two dessert spoons of good quality cocoa powder. Egg whites, let's get it stiff, baby. Egg yolks, honey, cocoa powder. Chocolate goes in. We've got our lovely infused milk here. Remove all the spices and just have a little whisk up. I'm using a spiced rum, 300 mils in total. 200 mils of gorgeous cream. And then last but not least, we're gonna go in with the egg whites. Mix up all those elements. You could finish that with a little nutmeg, chocolate, a little clementine. Oh, a wonderful treat. You're gonna love this one, guys. This is Mexican-inspired chocolate baked tart with layers of chocolate caramel. You're gonna love it. Melt 200 grams of good chocolate with 150 grams of butter and a pinch of salt. I'm gonna give that short crust pastry tart a nice gooey caramel base. Hazelnuts and caramel, such a great combination. Whiz up three eggs and 50 grams of sugar until frothy. Boil to a syrup 150 grams of sugar with 75 grams of water and then add to the frothy eggs with the chocolate. Goes on like this. They're ready for cooking. It's going to rock and roll. And I'll serve that with some sour cream, which is a big Mexican thing as well. It'll be fantastic. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed my delicious chocolate recipes. Until next time, 